Okay, what's up? <laughs> Can you say two times? <laughs> Yo, um, I know a lot of people have been asking um where I've been. Uh man, I've just been uh busy doing some other things and um uh working on some other projects on top of um trying to reconfigure and uh relaunch uh this platform here. Um trying to figure out um what exactly do I want to do with this specific platform? Cause I want to take it to uh, another level, but I got other stuff on my plate. So that's kind of why I was lacking in the videos, but uh, let's talk about it. Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz rematch. Okay. Also, if you guys want to see my initial reaction and my initial response to uh, the AJ uh, Andy Ruiz uh, rematch victory, um, just go on my Patreon page and you'll see the initial video that would have been up on here on YouTube today, but YouTube be acting so goddamn funny all the goddamn time. You know, I ain't got time to put nothing together just for them to kick it back to me and say, oh, we got a problem with this. You got a problem with that. You can't use this. You can't use that. And as you know, uh, the zone be tripping, you know what I'm saying? So I don't need no more of that crap. So if you want to see that initial video, um, it's over on my Patreon page, but, um, Let's talk about uh, what I'm hearing so far. And that's basically the whole AJ ran the whole fight, blah, blah, blah. And it's the same response of Deontay Wilder. But Deontay Wilder only regurgitates stuff that he hear other people say. He doesn't have an original thought to save his life. But I'm going to digress on that. But let's get started on the AJ running thing. You know, and this is the problem with boxing fans. And this is the problem with people um, not being too familiar with or not really knowing what Mexican style is and what Mexican style really consists of, okay? So let me be the first to tell you, and I've said this on other videos, Mexican style is not boxing, okay? I'm going to say that again. Mexican style is not boxing, okay? Boxing is the sweet science of hit and not getting hit. When you do that, you are participating in the boxing game. If you're just going in there slugging left and right, stand in the middle, and let's see who chin can catch who chin kind of thing, that is not boxing. That's fighting. That's slugging. That's brawling. That is not boxing. So when you get these LDBC channels or when you get these anti-Anthony Joshua channels, Who's going to spit to the casual fans? Oh, he ain't do nothing but run off fight. And he ain't doing a number one. I was entertained throughout that whole fight. I thought it was a great masterclass. I thought it was a beautiful fight. I got up and I watched that fight again. He, he put on a masterclass. But for those who got these platforms talking about, all he did was run on night. All he did was run all right. Please, like I said before, note these channels. Okay. Because you might be listening to a channel that does not know shit about boxing, period. Okay? Just think of all the people that said, oh, AJ was running, AJ was running, A -A AJ was running. Let's do a little flip back, give, give you a little history lesson, okay? On was AJ running or was AJ boxing? All boxers know that he was boxing, but let me flip it back to give you some empirical proof, something you can touch on, something that you can reference, okay? Sugar Ray Leonard versus Roberto Duran, first fight, okay? Roberto Duran was very aggressive with Sugar Ray Leonard. He got into his face. He talked shit, you know what I'm saying? Tell him to suck his dick and all this other stuff. He even bad talked his wife, you know what I'm saying? In order to get Sugar Ray Leonard to walk into that boxing ring and stand straight there in the middle and trade with Duran. Hence, Sugar Ray Leonard lost. Okay. By the time Sugar Ray Leonard figured out what Roberto Duran did to him, it was too late. Okay. Sugar Ray Leonard was determined to go in there and fight his fight the next time around. He wasn't going to let Roberto Duran get inside of his head okay he wasn't gonna let roberto duran get inside to his head to the point he fights his fight which is a mexican style bang man brawl fight okay sugar ray leonard went into that rematch implementing the same strategy and game plan that you've seen anthony joshua do 
okay? He didn't get a chance for him to sit down on any of his punches. He didn't get a chance for him to resettle. He constantly made him reset. He kept something moving. You know what I'm saying? He kept moving and hitting, hitting and moving. That's how he won the fight. And that's how today we have the famous No Moss, okay? The reason why you know No Moss today, you know what I'm saying, is because of Sugar Ray Leonard putting on a boxing clinic with a brawler, okay? And that's truthfully how boxing is supposed to go, depending on who and where you're getting your strategy from. When they want to move around, box them. When they want to stand there and bang, move around. You know, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they want to do. When they start running, you start sitting down. You know what I'm saying? When they start sitting down, you start moving, okay? Sugar Ray Leonard beat Roberto Duran with a boxing IQ. And it made that iconic moment to where he sat there on the stool and yelled out those famous words, no more, okay? No moss. That was done through the sweet science, not standing there in the middle, banging on anybody. That is not boxing so when you get these channels this anti anti job talking about all he did was ran all night all he did was ran all night number one they would they wouldn't dare say that to a sugar ray leonard if we was to flip the hands back in time of the roberto duran uh sugar ray leonard fight they wouldn't dare say that to him okay but let's say that they don't even know you know what i'm saying let's say that they're not educated enough to tell you the truth what anthony joshua did is what's called the game of boxing. All this other stuff you see and all this getting hit behind the ear and all this other wilder stuff and all this stuff, that's not boxing, okay? Like I said, I don't know what sport you guys sign up for when you get into boxing, you know what I'm saying? If you want to look more something of a brawl kind of thing, then you might want to lean towards MMA, okay? But this is the sweet science right here, okay? He executed it perfectly. So if you see any channel... Out here on YouTube today, talk about Anthony Joshua did some running or all he did was running all night. You are now logged in and subscribed to a channel or a friend or whoever you talk, whoever you hang around who don't know shit about boxing, period. That man put on a master class. Anybody say that he ran last night, I I'll tell you what, these same LDBC channels that'll be like, all he did was run. All he did was run. These are the same people that will get defensive when somebody comes at Mayweather and say, well, all he did was run and he don't fight nobody straight up. They'll be like, no, 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 no. Floyd's using the sweet science. Floyd know how to box. Floyd know how to do it. It's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? This is why I defend Floyd the same way. When people want to come out and say, all Floyd did was run. All Floyd did was run. Excuse me. The name of the game is to hit and not getting hit. Being evasive, slipping punches, rolling punches, parrying punches, and blocking is all part of boxing. Just like holding is a part of boxing, whether you like it or not. So somebody to sit up here after they seen him put on a master class just like he did, for them to turn around and talk about somebody's running, you're probably listening to somebody who don't know shit about the fucking sport.